The inaugural batch of upgraded M60T main battle tanks has been successfully integrated into the Turkish armed forces, signaling a significant advancement in the Tayyip M60T program spearheaded by the Turkish Defense Industries Agency (SSB). The delivery ceremony, held in Seraflika Shisar, witnessed the presence of prominent figures including Haluk Gorgun, the president of the Defense Industries Agency, Chalal Sami Tuxi, Deputy Minister of National Defense, and General Selçuk Bayraktaroğlu, commander of the Turkish Land Forces, alongside representatives from the military and industrial sectors. The decision to modernize the M60 tanks, previously subject to updates by foreign entities, arose from maintenance challenges and dependence on international suppliers. Professor Dr. Gorgun underscored the nation's drive for self-reliance in defense, accentuating substantial advancements in locally produced fire control systems for the tanks. He lauded the project's role in fortifying the Turkish defense industry, extending gratitude to Aselsan and all subcontractors involved. Originally designed in the early 1960s, the M60 Patton tanks have been integral to the United States and allied armed forces, participating in various global conflicts. While newer models gradually replaced them in the United States, these tanks continue to serve in multiple countries, including Turkey, acquired through a support agreement during the Gulf War. The transition to the M60T model was prompted by Greece's acquisition of Leopard 2 tanks, compelling Turkey to embark on a modernization journey in collaboration with Israeli company Emi Systems, resulting in deliveries between 2005 and 2010. The M60T, known as Sabra in Turkish service, represents an upgraded iteration of the Patton M60 tank, incorporating enhancements to bolster combat capability and battlefield survivability. Equipped with a turbocharged Continental AVDS 1795A diesel engine, generating 900 horsepower, the M60T boasts exceptional mobility. Some variants, such as the MK2, are fitted with the Turkish MT881 KA501 engine, producing up to 1,000 horsepower, coupled with a rank color 304S transmission for further performance optimization. The armament of the M60T includes a formidable smoothbore 120mm MG253 main gun, capable of firing various standard NATO ammunition types, including Lahat anti-tank guided missiles. This versatility in armament enhances its combat effectiveness. Improvements to chassis, suspension systems, and torsion bar balancing augment its mobility across rugged terrain while maintaining optimal ground pressure for maneuverability. Defensive updates such as active protection systems and armor enhancements fortify the M60T against modern threats, positioning it as a contemporary combat platform capable of meeting evolving military challenges. During Turkey's Operation Euphrates Shield, the M60T variant proved its pivotal role, underscoring the necessity for enhanced defensive capabilities. This spurred the FRAT M60T project, aimed at bolstering anti-tank defenses with advanced systems like the Pulat Active Protection System, alongside enhancements in surveillance, protection, and operational capacities. Further advancements within the Tayyip M60T project encompass the integration of the Vulcan M fire control system and enhancements in armor and crew comfort, reflecting progress in the tank's capabilities. This initiative aligns with Turkey's broader modernization efforts for its tank fleet, including the M60A3 and Leopard 2A4 models, while advancing towards the indigenous Altai tank project, slated for production commencement in 2025, pending any scheduling adjustments.